Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji. I help bring harmony to your head, to your heart, and to your home. This angel message and tips for creating more flow in your life relates to change and anticipation this week. So I will be sharing with you how to look forward to change what you can do to expect the best, and um, an affirmation for creating more flow in your life. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So your angel message for this week is the wheel. This is the number 10 card, Archangel Michael. And I always liken this card to like maybe having felt uh, that you were in a place of feeling stuck. And now there's a cog being pulled out of the wheel and things are really starting to move. There's forward momentum. There is action happening. There is an opening that's happening. And there's a lot of good fortune on your side. So this is really a great card for this week, right? So there's this sort of energy of forward momentum as we're looking ahead at what is occurring. Right, so when we have the energy of this and seeing a card like this does lead you to feel anticipation and maybe even a little bit of an excitement about what is to come, which um, connects very well to the affirmation for this week, which is my life gets more fabulous every day. I look forward to what each day, or excuse me, each new hour brings. So definitely feel free to do a screenshot of this if you want to work with this affirmation for this week. My life gets more fabulous every day. I look forward to what each new hour brings. Beautiful. I love that. Uh, so I want to share something about this because how we're feeling about the future does have an impact on it. If you are feeling worried, concerned, um, uh, anxious about the future, that is essentially going to bring that energy and more of that energy of things that will cause you to feel that way to you. So instead, I encourage you to expect the best, right? And so instead of looking for, you know, I always think of like the Murphy's Law thing, right? Um, uh, uh, it's kind of about bad things happening, right? Um, it, and I can't, I'm not going to remember. I'm not remembering exactly what Murphy's Law is because I don't, I don't subscribe to it. So what I'll share with you instead is expecting the best helps bring more of that to you. So if you're thinking about a future circumstance, for example, you have something that you've got to go to, like a job interview, for example, and um, you're maybe a little bit nervous, you're worried about not saying the right thing, you are um, concerned that you might not get the job because you really need it, something like that. What I would encourage you to do is shift the energy around that so that you're focusing on what's the best possible outcome. What is the absolute most amazing thing that could happen? So in the example of a job interview, that you just are, um, the answers come to you really smoothly and easily. They're very impressed by you. In fact, they're so impressed by you that they offer you an even better job than the one that you applied for that is going to pay you even more money. And that you're super excited about the atmosphere. It feels really good there. Uh, you find out that uh, a friend that you knew, that you really enjoyed, that really liked, actually works there. You know, you can play with the energy of that, right? But expecting the best. And then here's sort of a key to, um, to that is letting go of the outcome. So expect the best, 
look forward to change, right? Look forward to the good things that will come from change, but then be unattached, right? Because it could be that, or it could be something even better. And if you let go of your attachment to what occurs, for example, your attachment to getting that specific job, then maybe that opens the gateway to something even better coming to you, perhaps a better job, uh, a new opportunity, another a potential shift for you that's going to be even better than what this one is. Right? So that is what I'm going to leave you with today. I would love to hear your comments below of your biggest aha moment uh, about this video. And I also welcome you to grab your free gift. I have uh, an actual um, uh, free gift that's called uh, Opening the Door to a Brighter Life. And this is going to give you six feng shui keys that will help bring more flow and energy into your life using your front door. So there's a link to that below. Go ahead and grab that and we will see you next week. Much love and aloha.